Hello and welcome to the Esports Bulletin, episode number 75 for October 18th, 2012. The Esports Bulletin is a daily news recap that covers everything happening in the world of esports. From scene news to drama, we cover it all in five minutes or less, so you can spend more time doing what you love and still remain an esports expert. Also, be sure to tweet at Esports Nightly or at Spawn Room on Twitter, or leave a comment below with news updates and shoutouts, and I'll be sure to work them into future episodes. Now, let's move on to the headlines for October 17th, 2012. Yesterday, played host to a major headline coming out of South Korea with premier StarCraft II team Slayers disbanding. This once bright and successful team created by legendary Brood War player Lim Boxer Yo Won has faced growing difficulties over the past few years, becoming an enemy of sorts to the esports federation in Korea, or so says team manager Kim Jessica Ja Young. Accusations have been rampant over the past 24 hours, and it's important to note that with much while much has been said, both sides must reveal their stories and have it checked out before we can determine the truth. Because of this, I highly recommend reading the responses from both parties over the next few days and determining for yourself what may or may not have happened. I will undoubtedly be reporting on this issue in multiple episodes from here on out as the story continues to develop, so stay tuned for that. But as it stands now, Slayers will officially disband after their GSTL matches on November 3rd, and there is already talks of players moving teams, like Ryung to uh, Team Axiom to reside with former teammate Crank, MMA to either Axiom or Evil Geniuses, Alicia to Complexity Gaming, and more. You can read about everything in the video description below. Next is GOM TV and IGN Pro League announcing the League of Legends Korean qualifiers for the upcoming IPL5 event in Las Vegas, Nevada. Groups have been drawn and the top two in each will move forward to the semifinals where a single team will earn an all expense paid trip to the grand finals on November 29th through December 2nd. Qualifiers are set to kick off this Sunday, October 21st, and will run until November 5th live on GOM TV. However, it should be noted that no English cast has yet been announced for Western viewers that are interested in watching, so you'll have to go and check the website and see if they update that and provide one. Otherwise, you may have to wait for VODs if you're looking for an English uh, cast of the games. And lastly, in headlines, we have... State of the Game announcing its return and will go live with its first episode today, October 18th at 4 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Central. However, it should be noted that significant changes have been made to the show, including a controversial one regarding the pillars or hosts. As it stands, no former pillars have agreed to come back besides the show creator, JP McDaniel. This means that Day9, Liquid Noni, or Tyler, Artosis, and In Control will more than, more than likely not be on today's episode, which has left many fans of the series scratching their heads. Instead, JP has revealed that Diapolo, Complexity's QXE, and player caster Yon Todd Merlo will be the lucky few running the show. However, it wasn't exactly clear if they were guests or permanent hosts. Attached to this announcement is a long Reddit post by In Control, who lays out his feelings and decision to not return to State of the Game, and is very important to read for those interested in this story. Alright, that covers up the headlines for yesterday, so let's see what is happening in today's news. The Star Ladder Star Series LAN Finals for Dota 2 begin this morning at the Cybersport Arena in Kiev for seven high-caliber teams. The first matches between are between Virtus Pro and Empire, Moscow 5 and MYM, uh, Skans Elite, and Mouse Sports. Matches should already be live as of this broadcast being uploaded uh, because they are starting around 7 a.m. Eastern, 6 a.m. Central here in the States. That's taking place in Ukraine, so it's quite a few hours ahead. Uh, Game for Glory is running a celebrity event for League of Legends involving Team Fnatic, who will be entertaining fans both in Europe and North America, at, well, it's starting at 2 p.m. Eastern, and I believe it's running pretty much all day long. Uh, streams will be available both on OWN TV and Twitch TV. There's also matches over at the IGN Pro League, as always, with Team Acer going up against Complexity Gaming in the Team League Contender Division, along with IPL5 North American Qualifier Number 4 semifinals between uh, Team Dignitas and CLG Black. That should be happening later this evening. 
GOM TV also has GSL Season 4 Code A StarCraft 2 matches between Sirius and Sniper, SOS and Seed, Bogus and Happy, and Trap and Gumio. And that's happening this morning. DreamHon Destination DreamHack Deathmatch number 3 will also be going live this morning with a series between Q Squad and Bunker Down for Heroes of New Earth. There's also matches over at EG Raid Calls Dota 2 League, however their website is completely not updated, the schedule seems to be jumping all over the place, so I have no idea what matches are actually going to be happening today. Um, if you are interested in that, just go to their website, click on their link for their Twitter account, and keep an eye on that. And it, it seems like their matches have been going live for the Dota 2 League between, like, late afternoon, early evening area. So just keep an eye on Twitter there and you'll be able to catch the Dota 2 matches. Uh, EG also has the Masters Cup series for StarCraft 2 and that is updated um, so we know what's coming up and that's a match between Complexity Gaming and Mouse Sports happening around 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central. And moving into the last section, newly announced upcoming events. And I got a video for this one too. Uh, Friday Night Showdown Street Fighter 4 Armies at Shadow Logic in Melbourne, Australia kicks off tomorrow, October 19th at 8.30 p.m. local time. This event has an interesting format where team captains choose from a pool of players to create an army that will compete to hopefully win the tournament. It should be an interesting show and will assumingly be streamed, however I couldn't get a straight answer from their website and I even uh, tweeted at them but they didn't uh, have a response. So. Uh, you'll have to go back to their site and just see if there are streams live at some point. I'm assuming it will be since their their stream is like relatively active. Additionally, in FGC news, we have Level Up Series announcing the Atlas Fighting Championships for November 17th, 2012, focused on King of Fighters 13 and Persona 4 Arena. This event will take place at Super Arcade in California, has, curr has a currently undisclosed prize pool, and matches will be streamed via Twitch TV. And lastly, Firefall Fest is coming up on October 22nd through the 27th, and will be live streaming every single day, with hosts like Athene, Day9, Will Wheaton, Team Complexity, Live on 3, and a bunch more, all playing the upcoming esports title, Firefall. Uh, there's going to be daily giveaways, chances to play with the hosts via the beta that you can opt into, along with Q&As and interactivity on the stream, um, which sounds like a pretty interesting event. I mean, they've got some impressive hosts coming in, and it should be interesting to see how Firefall is looking in terms of being an esports title and how it could compare to something like uh, Global Offensive or Shoot Mania Storm. So keep an eye on that coming up. Alrighty. That wraps up this episode of the Esports Bulletin. Thank you very much for watching. As always, consider subscribing above, and you can also follow on Twitter at SpawnRoom or at Esports Nightly. And, um, yeah, see you next time. Stay tuned for future episodes.